local boy's dreams of living in the fast lane come true. He's so fast, he's known as the Cuban Missile in the world of racing. And as he sees more and more success, fans are cheering loudly. Vamos, Tampa Bay. The competitive sport of racing is all about doing what it takes to be the first to see that checkered flag. The number 10 car is one of those always near the top wanting to be number one. There's only 40 drivers that get to call themselves uh, NASCAR Cup Series drivers, and I happen to be one of them. Eric Almarola, a Hillsboro High School grad, remembers growing up like most kids. Playing baseball over at North Tampa and um, going to school here and just growing up being a normal kid. But to get to some of the most famous speedways in racing, it takes sacrifice. But when I was growing up, it was like, you do what? <laughs> like, we're going to the, the high school football game on Friday night. And I'm like, well, I have to go racing this weekend. Coming back to Tampa means hitting up some of his favorite Cuban restaurants, like the West Tampa Sandwich Shop and Arcoides. I love coming back here and getting my fill of Cuban food, but nothing, and I do mean nothing, compares to Abuelas Picadillo. Really? Yeah. Your Abuelas Picadillo is like amazing. The bomb. The best. Uh, yeah, you can't get that anywhere. She's like, ah, you papo, you're so skinny, flaco, <laughs> sit down, I need to feed you. He calls NASCAR an all-American sport, but like America, it continues to change, and so do NASCAR fans. I think you see myself and, and Daniel Suarez from Mexico. Um, we're, we're gaining a lot of interest from the Latino fans, and, and it's fun. It's fun to go to the racetrack um, and see those fans and see that they're pulling for you and rooting for you and supporting you. And Eric, by the way, almost won the Daytona 500 last year, and he's going to have another chance in a couple of weeks as well. He really wants that win. We're going to be rooting for the Cuban Missile, uh, and he's going to be heading out there. But just the nicest guy. That is awesome. A local Tampa guy. And who like just... you said, it won't be long before Cuban flags That's are waving right. in the stands, they're right? Gonna say, they're going to say, vamos, Eric. Yeah. Vamos, Tampa Bay. <laughs> <laughs> All right.